Okay, y'all. Quick Timu haul. Yes, I know I'm a disco ball. Why did all that rhyme? I'm all sorts of weird today. I only got a few things. This is everything. This is everything in the bag. They had sponge tip applicators, price drop, 188 a pack, and it's supposed to be 50 in a pack. And y'all know I go through these because I use them for swatches, I use them for shimmers, I use them for Pat McGrath's Celestial Shades. They looked like they would be like the ones that I got from Amazon. This is the team one. I just opened up one of the containers, one of the plastic bags. This is the one from Amazon. This is the one from Timu. The one from Amazon, it has, it looks like they added this on because you see how it's this line right here and also up top. And I do like it that they're long because I can put it on and then flip it and use the other side and not worry about getting it on my hands. But this one seems like it's a nice length as well. Another thing I noticed different, this entire thing is a sponge. This entire thing, I can feel now that I'm squeezing it, a little thin piece of plastic in here, but it's hard to feel it and it's only maybe like halfway down. When I squeeze this one, they put the foam over top of plastic. This, this entire thing starting here is a plastic piece, whereas this is not. And also the Timu one, it is longer. So I'm thinking these will work really well. They're not as soft because you can feel the plastic through it, whereas the sponge tips from Amazon, they are softer. So we'll see how I like using them. I hope I do. On the Timu website, it did look like the Amazon ones, and that's why I got three packs. Um, so I, I hope that I like them. I am so shiny, I can't stand and look at myself. So forgive me if you're having issues with that as well. This is something else that I purchased, if I can get it open. And this, if you've been here for a while, you know that I use an Inglot palette to put my primer on, to put my foundation on. And I saw this. This is a palette. Ew, I need to wash it. This feels, what is this? You know what it is? The foam from this is, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like fur. But it's, and I can, oh, it feels gross. But this you put on your hand, which I would have to take my ring off because that's interfering already. So let me turn it upside down. So, the, and it's interfering on this side. So you, it is a palette, but you just put it on your hand. So instead of me needing to, okay, pick this up, hold it this way, put it down. This I can just put, take my ring off first. <laughs> and I can just put the primer on here, the foundation on here, and not have to worry about where to sit it because or hold it a certain way so that's why i purchased this one this is hard acrylic and it does feel sturdy it does feel like though if you pull it it will pop so don't don't test it whereas this one is metal but again i have to hold it a certain way this one you don't have to hold it a certain way so i'm going to try that out and i'll wash it first the other thing that i purchased was wireless open earphones I have issue with earphones, extra long standby for 120 days, listen to music for 16 hours continuously. I have issues with earphones. When there's something in my ear, it gives me an earache. Like I am, <laughs> the rheumatologist said that I'm hypersensitive. When there's something in my ear, earbuds, it hurts my ear and I could feel the pressure it pushing like on this part of your ear, like this part, but on the inside, and it's very uncomfortable. And I've tried um, headphones, but then it, the pressure, I can feel the pressure on the top of my head and it makes them uncomfortable. And I did finally find a pair of um, earphones. You put them on, but it just sat right here. It didn't go in your ear, it just sat right here, the way you positioned it around your ear and it just sat right here it didn't go in they were wonderful but then i got a new phone it wasn't compatible with the new phone so that was the end of that and it was very disappointing because it took me a long time to find those and so i saw this and it's supposed to be it says open earphone and it's only one which you only need one and 
I should probably wipe this off first. I don't know how it goes in. Does it go in this way? I guess it would go this way. I don't know. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to put you on pause. It says only left ear wear. And because I'm like, how do you get it on? And so it does just sit on top of the ear. It's not in my ear. I don't know if I can. So this is the inside of it. This is the speaker. And so you just wrap it around your ear and it just sits. And this is some this is like what I was looking for, something that'll just sit on top of my ear and not in my ear. But what I can tell right now is because I'm not used to wearing anything, I would have to get used to the feeling of just having this here because my initial reaction is to be like, what is that? And to just try and like flick it off like it's a mosquito or something. Um, and maybe I just need to position it, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I will try it. It's not uncomfortable. I can feel it's there because, again, I'm not used to having anything around my ear or touching my ear. Um, it does fit nice. There is a lot of space back here. I can actually put my finger between the top rounded part of it and the base of my ear. Yeah, I think... It's, it's comfortable, and that says a lot for me because I'm just like, what is this? Get it off of me. It doesn't feel right. So we'll see. Um, yeah, when I'm pushing on it, I can feel the pressure, but then you're not going to be pushing on it. So we'll see how this works. It did come off really easily, which made me feel like, you know, if I turn my head really fast or do a hair flip, you know, it might fall off. But I'll keep playing with it, and we'll see. It took me a little bit to get on because I'm not used to doing this. Actually, this is actually what I had to do. I had to like hold my ear. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, so I made it more complicated than it is. And those of you who wear earpieces, you're probably just like, and then it's on. But for me, I'm special. So yeah, it's not complicated. I can feel the pressure of it just being right here, which is not a lot of pressure, but again, I'm hypersensitive. So yeah, it's not going to flip off because that time I did actually have to kind of pull it. So we, I will wipe that down. I will go clean my ear and it does come with a charger. So I'm going to charge it. I can still feel the pressure on my ear. And this is OWS earbuds, it says on the box. And this is what it looks like. So that's my small Timu haul. For today and let me know if you have any of these products what you think short sweet and out take my glowy self and wash my face off thank you for being here have a good day no intro but outro as always self-acceptance self-love that is the crazy troll nation way thank you you will see me soon there's lots of links down below browse around click some things like subscribe share all that good stuff and either way you will see me soon